Hey everybody, it's been a hot minute since I've been in the shop. I've had all kind of things going on around here, trying to get ready for winter. And then I had a couple of new laser toys that came that I had to explore and, uh, and do some reviews on. Um, so I've been having a lot of fun, but it's time to get back to turning. I'm having some withdrawal. I'm gonna do something crazy with this piece. There was really only two options. Um, I could have, I could do it like this and, you know, hollow this out and down into the bowl. Um, but this is really kind of top heavy and I just love how all of the bark and the moss and the lichen and everything is still on it. So I'm going to leave this bottom completely alone. This is going to be a, a very Phil Anderson piece. Um, I'm gonna leave all of that alone and I'm just gonna cut a bowl out of this little knot. So I started already, I just figured, you know, center, center, um, but this was way too far off. It would have made the center way up here and I didn't want that bowl to be that far offset. You know, I mean, it's not gonna be centered on this knot, but I want it to be, you know, I, I want it to be sort of centered when it's sitting up like this. So I, put it between centers and marked where I want this to go. I have just enough clearance that that won't hit the bedways, but we'll see if <laughs> if I lose that or not. And I hope not, because I really want all that stuff to stay. So I'm gonna go back to the wormwood screw. These knots are so hard. Um, I was trying to get a flat spot for the second hole. The first one that I did was, it was pretty flat and it sat nice and tight up against the jaws, but where I've moved it, I think I'm gonna need um, I'm gonna need to flatten it out a little bit, which I tried to do and it was a nightmare. Um, I think it's gonna be all right though. See this, this here is just stupid hard. There we go. Okay. Now, see if I can get this to go on there straight, cause that is important here. Ish. Yeah, I'm actually, I think that's gonna be all right. It's just gonna be really lopsided which may or may not be all right, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> well, we're gonna see about that. This might be really cool. It might be a complete disaster. I'm gonna stand over here though. It's actually probably not bad. Apparently I'm gonna have to do something different with that camera mount. It's not touching the lathe at all, any place, and it's still vibrating like crazy.
So this piece isn't really a burl. It's more a spot where a couple of branches may have been cut off and the you know the tree was growing over to heal them. So there are two separate um, pits from branches coming out and I have a feeling that that's part of the reason that this is so hard. If there's an opening in there, that could be exciting. Oh yeah. I'm just going to try to continue to bowl this part out. I don't see that there's any reason that it won't hold together sideways, but I'm going to be aware of the fact that this is very uh, not solid. conversation piece nonetheless. Yeah, that's solid. It's just not solid all as one piece. <laughs> Where's my wormwood screw? It's in there somewhere. It's the volcano! Oh, you know I'm going to have to do something cool with that, though. Um, hmm. All right, I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the X-Fighter because I think we are going to make this a volcano.
I'm still getting a lot of tear out, so I decided to see if I could stiffen up the fibers. I've got some three pound cut shellac, and I just sort of soaked that in there and let it dry. I think this piece could have been cool had I done it in the other orientation as well, but looking at the lack of material inside there, I'm glad that I made the decision to just try to cut a bowl out of the top of this knot. Had I gone the other way, it might have gone sailing across the room when we hit that void. I'm going to take that. So. Round that off a little. There's no way I was going to try to sand this with the lathe running, so I just used the spindle lock to hold it still. And I started with an 80 grit disc on the firm backing pad and turned it around until I got all of it done. Uh, as hard as this cut, it actually sanded pretty easily, which was nice. I mean, there wasn't that much to sand, but still, it's sanding and I hate it. Once I got done with the 80 grit, I put the squishy squishy pad on and I went 100, 120, 180, 240, and then 320. Ooh, that's, a, that's very soft. I'm not sure that's gonna do anything. Well, I guess it will. lichens stay on there. Just trying to get some of the dirt and stuff out. This is going to be even more au naturel than Phil's because I'm not going to use the Sando Flex because I don't have one. But I wouldn't want to use it on this anyway. And I'm not sure if I'm going to try to spray the outside with something or if I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to let it be for now, but This is now a one pound cut of shellac that I'm using just to seal it and I'm also going to squirt some down inside there. I suppose I could have used the three pound cut here too, but I didn't really think about it. Who dat? Crab? Rawr. Frog? Hear the Carolina run out there. <laughs> I love runs. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. 
I don't know what I'm going to do to the bottom yet. Um, I might not do anything to it. It just kind of all depends. Let's see if I can get it off without. Oh, God. That's pretty cool, actually. I'll probably drizzle a little bit more shellac all the way down in there, but. Well, now I've got it off of the lathe, I'm gonna drill out that center. I didn't know how far in the wormwood screw was, and I didn't wanna hit that from the other end, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make that deeper and sort of flat and then that can sit down in there and I think that that's going to be really cool and so I'll put some beauty shots up here in a minute funky well I didn't mean for it to be a volcano I actually meant to turn something that had a viable bowl in the top of it but you know it just doesn't always go how we think it's gonna sometimes it's better and sometimes it's worse I actually think this turned out really cool especially with the color changing light in it. It really does look like a volcano, especially in the dark when the red is glowing. We are sneaking up on Halloween here too, so maybe this could be a witch's cauldron. It actually would make a pretty good witch's cauldron. Well, whatever it is, it was nice to be back in the shop and it's always kind of fun to take a really funky looking piece of wood and see what's inside. We've had a stretch of just awful days of weather here in Michigan, and I've had a migraine throughout all of them. It's finally starting to break today, and we're going to have a really nice weekend. So Bailey was a very good boy. Today it's brightening up, and now I must go walk the beagle. The paltry little walks I managed in the rain and the wind were just not sufficient, so we're going to go have us a little walk. Until next time, y'all be safe out there.